Hey guys, Quinton TV here and welcome to a brand new video where today we are back finally with some more Call of Duty content and today I'm going to be giving you my first impressions on the new Call of Duty which is of course Modern Warfare 3 and obviously I said I think it was like two days, three days ago that my GTA 5 video came out and I did say oh I'll have this up for Sunday which of course I didn't because you're seeing this on well today which is a Wednesday and that's because I wanted to have a few more days just like playing the game and getting a bit more of a feel for it so I could make this video on like my first impressions with the game. So I feel like overall with this little bit of a wait we've had a better quality of video and there's a lot more I can say about the game now because otherwise I'd have just probably said like yeah it's fun like that's what we say every year when a new COD comes out if I'm being honest because every single year we say yeah it's fun and then we talk about the problems and then later on in the year we say this is a shit game everyone don't buy I wish I want a refund that sort of thing it happens every single fucking year and I am getting a bit sick of it to be honest like Modern Warfare 2 I personally enjoyed the game at the time but when I went back to it I realized how much of a buggy fucking it's just the game is unplayable like I went to record a Warzone collab with Zavo and a few other people and it was literally unplayable hence why you haven't actually seen that video yet because and um, you're probably not going to because it was not a great video it just lagged the entire time the game got fucked and Zavo's video is up so I'm going to be leaving that as a link down below but anyway without further ado we are almost two minutes into the video let's begin on what I think of Modern Warfare 2 so what do I think of Modern Warfare 2 well the game is extremely fucking sweaty and that's just the only way I can really put of it considering that it's just come out and everything like literally I think the game's not even been out a week yet I think in two days from when this video goes up the game will have been out for a week so in that time, we've just had like the hardcore Call of Duty fan base, you know, buying the game day one, pre-ordering it, doing all that good stuff. Black Friday's coming up, which is when a lot of people tend to buy the game. We got Christmas, so we usually get an influx of Christmas noobs anyway, or at least we used to back in the day. We don't really notice it now because of skill-based matchmaking, but the game is incredibly sweaty just because the returning Call of Duty veterans, like myself, may I add, uh, are all coming into the game within the first week within the first few weeks within the first month or whatever and you know they're the players that tend to be a lot better at the game and they just are the ones jumping around corners you know fucking flying around melting you doing all that good stuff those tend to be the ones that are doing that however I think a lot of the issues that I had with TTK and you know just the general pace of the game have been resolved which are my main you know kind of gripes with Modern Warfare 2019 and Modern Warfare 2 like don't get me wrong I personally did quite like both of those games, but I feel like since Modern Warfare 3 has come out, the multiplayer is by far probably the best Modern Warfare game we've got, obviously, since the original trilogy. So, so as I said earlier, the game is quite fast-paced, if you haven't noticed already. Like, yeah, there is people jumping around the corners, you know, there is people sliding, there is people dolphin diving, doing all that stuff, and yeah, I honestly like this kind of movement in Call of Duty. I know some people are going to think I'm fucking mental here like oh why do you want like slide cancelling and stuff that in the game but it just adds like something to it because if you look at Modern Warfare 2019 and Modern Warfare 2 both of those games were incredibly slow with people sitting in corners like if you look at Shipment there was always someone hiding in the container which yeah that's kind of been a standard but people would move from there like nowadays if you don't kill them that person will probably sit in there for the entire match which is you know not great but yeah I definitely prefer the changes to the pace that we actually have at the moment because it's just like with slow paced COD it doesn't really you know like go together I don't think. I think COD definitely needs to be a much faster paced arcadey shooter sort of like Treyarch's games but I feel like Sledgehammer have done quite a good job with like a middle ground between Infinity Ward style and Treyarch style and I'm personally quite a big fan of both of those things. And I think one of the things most people are going to be pretty happy about when it comes to time to kill is it's a a lot slower than Modern Warfare 2 and especially over Modern Warfare 2019 because if you don't remember Modern Warfare 2019 people sat in corners because the game was slow paced and punished you for moving and also everything was such like you know every 
everything was a melt machine. So you just sit in a corner with like a growl or something and just melt people as they came through the door. That's essentially how that game worked and it wasn't great to play to be honest. I did personally still quite like the game. I always like, you know, rushed and did all that stuff like I usually do, but it, it wasn't great for it. If you look at Black Ops Cold War or even Modern Warfare 3 now, it's just so much better in terms of like the TTK. I love the fact that gunfights now are decided by skill, like, you know, getting those occasional tactical headshots in, you know, completely taking your opponent by surprise, shooting them in the back, or, you know, you get into a gunfight, you run into each other in a corridor, one of them shoots, you shoot, and it's basically whoever has, you know, the best gun skill wins the gunfight, and I'm very happy to see a return to that sort of idea, because if you look at Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 2019, especially with the growl, like, you could just pull that out, go around the corner, and just melt someone. That's how bad that gun was when the game came, well, when it was first released in like season one or two, I believe that get gun came out. But yeah, it just feels super rewarding, I find. Like when you actually win a gunfight, it just feels like really rewarding as opposed to, oh, I just melted that person nice. And when you get onto a nice kill streak going in Modern Warfare 2019, you'd have like, oh shit, yeah, I'm on a nice kill streak. I gotta camp and not die. But in Modern Warfare 3, I found at least that when you get onto a higher kill Street, you're sort of like, hell yeah, I feel like I've actually earned this. I'm going to play tactically still, but I'm not going to camp. I need to get those kills, and it feels rewarding every single kill, and that's something I personally quite like, and honestly, TTK change. I believe we do have the same amount of health that we saw in Black Ops 4, which is 150, and I think a slower TTK, as I've mentioned many times on this channel before, is definitely better for COD because it gives you a lot more gun skills. So. so I found ARs quite powerful in this build of Modern Warfare 2. So if you look at SMGs in the beta, which I'm probably not the best person to comment about this because I didn't actually play the beta. Believe it or not, this is the first Call of Duty beta I haven't played like in, well, since they started, uh, I'm pretty sure. No, actually, that's a lie. I didn't play the Black Ops 3 beta. I didn't play the Infinite Warfare beta beta but I did play the World War 2 be uh, beta so since 2017 this is the first beta I haven't played but uh, yeah SMGs have been severely nursed since the beta which you know apparently they were overpowered so that's kind of good I guess but coupled with the OG Modern Warfare 2 maps which I'll talk a bit more about in a minute coupled with those maps I feel like it's definitely a positive change because now you ain't getting like, you know, four shots on someone and then they die from like 50 meters away or something like that. You know, something ridiculous like that. It's not happening if you're using an SMG, but if you're using an AR, you know, a weapon that's much more long range in terms of its purpose, you're definitely going to pick up the kill much easier. And I feel like people running ARs tends to be a bit better than people running SMGs because this is the first COD in a while where SMGs haven't been like sort of like the main main build if you know what I mean but yeah weapon progression like going through the individual levels this is going to be a bit of a short one it just takes forever like you have the same idea with Modern Warfare 2019 like it just felt to me like going through the weapon levels was just an absolute fucking chore and I'm very you know kind of disappointed that that has you know persisted into Modern Warfare 3 which kind of I understand yeah we've got the gunsmith system so it's going to be a lot harder to progress your weapons up to max because I believe there's like 30 levels or something Something. So yeah, obviously that's going to take some time, especially with Gunsmith and the amount of attachments they cram into each like weapon level. Like it's just insane. Like uh, I don't know how I feel about Gunsmith anymore, to be honest with you. I really like the idea of like building a really good gun in multiplayer, but at the same time, the amount of time it just takes to level up the gun is an absolute piss take. Like especially in Modern Warfare 3, where you see people, you know, trying to max out one gun pretty quickly. Yeah, that's sort of the problem. People just use one gun to try and you know level it up as much as possible and then that just leads to you know people using the same guns which tend to be the meta ones and yeah it's just absolutely fucked in my opinion one thing i do have to say you know to chirp the game's horn it is absolutely fucking beautiful like the other day me and Zavo were sat on discord and i was sending him screenshots from modern warfare 3 because i'd literally just got the game and the game just looks fucking gorgeous like i cannot put it any other way the game just the design of the map like the ambience is absolutely on point and somehow they managed to make underpass you know one of the ugliest maps in call of duty fucking history like that thing it's a fucking abysmal if you go back and play the original modern warfare 2 right now and go on that map it is fucking appalling it's ugly and every time i see it i want to gouge my eyes out with a spoon
But in Modern Warfare 3, somehow it's absolutely fucking beautiful. I have no idea how they did it. Like, the ambience is on point. Everything about the map is amazing. And in 4K, you know, on Xbox Series X and stuff like that, it looks fucking beautiful. Like, the resolution is on point. The textures, the ambience, everything about the map is fucking perfect, in my opinion. All of these maps look absolutely amazing. They look way better than the Modern Warfare 2 ones. And they play pretty similar in terms of their function in the game so like rust is obviously like you want v1 map and playing rust in this game rust is fucking gorgeous i'm not gonna everything about this game most of the maps like derail underpass um like uh, slum not slums um skid row that's fucking beautiful like i thought it was kind of ugly in modern warfare 2 the original so yeah i'm very glad to say that considering it played so well it now just looks as good and that's definitely a positive thing in my opinion but yeah uh armory unlocks this is something i've seen a lot of people talking about i just find it a really fucking strange concept like i don't get call of duty always insists on making these really fucking weird changes like black ops cold war we had you know uh killstreaks don't reset upon death we had in modern warfare 2019 this really strange movement and stuff like when they came up with that getting rid of prestige etc etc it just it's all really fucking strange why cod decides to do this all the time and what i mean by this in like the grand context of this video instead of levels to say say we're trying to unlock the acr um instead of you know getting to like what level 77 or something probably a lot earlier than that to be honest with you but say you get to like level 72 and that's when you'd normally lock unlock the acr but in this game you got to do three daily challenges and then assign that to an item to unlock it in the you know armory which i find really fucking strange like did it really need changing and yeah it, it's just not good in my opinion but my i think there's positives and negatives to it overall i think it's a really fucking stupid idea but i guess the positive is say you get a challenge of winning like three matches and then you go win those three matches and then you unlock the new weapon it's kind of encouraging people to actually play the objective which you know as we know is not really a big thing in COD. People just like to, you know, fucking run around and get killed. That's essentially how it works, you know, get clips for the fucking TikTok or whatever. But nowadays with these challenges, it's kind of encouraging people to play the objective, which I kind of like. But as a double-edged sword, uh, I find it kind of counterintuitive. Say you go through your three games, you complete them, you win, you get quite a lot of kills in that game, you win, you unlock your weapon, you're now in a higher skill-based matchmaking bracket, so you get fucked over for trying to unlock things in the game. And I think that's just really counterintuitive. You work really hard for something, and then your reward, other than the weapon, is to basically get anally raped by the skill-based matchmaking lobby lobby system and it's just it's absurd like you know you buy the game you come on you do well and you get punished for it obviously this is the argument i've been making for skill based match against skill based matchmaking for quite some time now but it's just even worse when you're adding unlocks into it in my opinion like you're you know working to unlock it and you unlock this thing and you're like good here's your new weapon now go and fight some fucking cdl rejects so i feel like that needs to be done away with they're probably not going to do away with it in modern warfare 3 but for Treyarch's next game please honest to god Treyarch, please do not include this feature. And regarding, you know, the last thing I just said, at this moment in time, the daily challenges don't seem to reset due to some, like, bug or something, which the devs obviously are aware of and are trying to work to fix, but it's causing a massive outrage on Twitter, which is completely understandable because, at the moment, you can only unlock, you know, one to two items because you can only get three, six ch daily challenges a day, and then once you've completed those, they don't reset, so it feels like like you can only unlock you know one to two items per day like irl day so it just feels super like mobile gamey you know like say you have like i don't know clash of clans let's use that as an example like you had an energy system in clash of clans or whatever and you can only play for a certain amount of time a day and then you pay money to like you know extend that energy and stuff like thankfully at the moment there's no paid workaround but i wouldn't put it past activision to be honest like if this doesn't get fixed i wouldn't surprised if activision you know starts releasing something on 
the shop to get more daily challenges a day. It's just, I wouldn't put it past them at all. So I completely understand where people are coming from with the outrage because it feels like a fucking mobile game and no one wants to do that. It's really starting to piss me off considering that I paid for this game and I can only unlock, you know, fucking two items per day. They're basically punishing you for playing too much, which then when you couple that with skill-based matchmaking and all that, it really just seems like, oh, here's your new gun, go get fucked by skill-based matchmaking and then you won't have anything to do for the rest of the day. You're just going to have to jump on and get anally raped. Yeah, moving back onto something positive now, the in-game HUD actually feels and looks really fucking good, like way better than Modern Warfare 2019, way better than Modern Warfare 2, certainly better than Vanguard, so that was fucking appalling, but yeah, it's definitely very clean and I also love the like announcements you get at the top of the screen, like you go on a kill streak and it announces it at the top of the screen, say I got like five kills and it would announce like ED Quinn got five kills, is on a five kill streak and this actually come in very satisfying form because the other day I jumped on Skid Row, I think literally a day after the game it came out, I jumped on Skid Row and I got a 25 kill streak and I was slowly just watching, you know, those numbers go up like five kill streak, 10 kill streak, 15, 20, 25. It was so fucking satisfying and rewarding for actually going onto the kill streak, which I find absolutely brilliant and I wish COD had more of this. I don't believe, like correct me if I'm wrong, I don't believe in Modern Warfare 2, it, uh, you know, it told the lobby what kill streak you're on and it sort of adds like bragging rights almost like yeah I'm on a 25 kill streak what are you gonna fucking do about it you know that sort of thing and I feel like that is very good for Call of Duty it also adds a bit of like tenseness to the situation say for example I died on like just before I got my 26th kill and I was fucking fuming because I was like five away from a nuke like, I was absolutely fucking fuming but it announced to the whole lobby I was on this big kill streak and obviously people's natural reaction is to want to shut me down and I think that's kind of like a cool thing to implement in multiplayer so uh, yeah I'm very glad that's back but yeah we have got an absolutely fucking huge arsenal of weapons considering the fact all our stuff from Modern Warfare 2 carries over into Modern Warfare 3 so we still got weapons that we unlocked and you know progressed within Modern Warfare 2 I still have like the gold camo on my M16 on my M4 whatever I still have all of that and that's kind of cool and obviously they've added in a few like little new weapons here and there to spice things up and make it feel like a different game. We have a good amount of variety, I'll give them that, but in my opinion, it's just it's too convoluted. Like, we've got so many, you know, Modern Warfare 2 guns that we've all been playing for for about a year, and then we have, like, very few Modern Warfare 3 guns, like, brand new content, which is what we have bought this game for, Sledgehammer. We have bought this game for brand new content, new weapons, new maps, stuff like that, and we didn't really end up getting any of that, so what the fuck is the point? Like, I believe there's two free, I think, new assault rifles, there's one new pistol, which, no, sorry, there's three new pistols. I don't where I got one from. I think it's only because I've got one of the new ones unlocked, but it's just, honestly, it's absurd. The amount of weapons that we have, and so few of them are brand new. Like, if we had that, and then, like, doubled, basically, with a new original guns, I feel like that would be fucking insane. Like, imagine they added in, like, the 1911 as, like, a pistol, and then they added in, like, a AK-12, stuff like that. If they added stuff like that new into the game, I feel like that would be a massive improvement over what we We've got because then we've got so much new content to playing around with. But another thing about the game that's really starting to do my fucking head in is the operator callouts and just operators in general in this game. Because when I jumped on before the game officially came out on the 9th, because Amazon fucked up and sent it me early, uh, I already saw people running around with fucking Nicki Minaj skins, Homelander skins, or fucking Snoop Dogg all running around like some homeless geezer on fucking crack. And it just feels absolutely ridiculous to me. Like, I get it, COD is an arcade shooter, but I kind of just miss when, you know, like Call of Duty Ghosts came out and you'd have like a standard Milsim skin and you'd just be running around with that and that's all you get. You wouldn't have operators that you would have to pay an extortionate amount of money just to get a stupid skin or something like that. I miss, you know, just the classic military skins and also the operators in my opinion are way too fucking vocal. Like, it's actually getting to a point now where it's pissing me off and it's really 
really loud and obnoxious as well. Like, I'll just be doing literally anything, like cooking a grenade or reloading, and my character has to fucking loudly announce, like, reloading! Or some shit like that. And it's really fucking annoying, because I'll just be, you know, sat here at like two in the morning playing Xbox, because when, you know, the game came out on the 9th, I actually put in a lot of hours. I stayed up for like four hours, because the game only finished installing because of its massive size. About, like, I want to say about half 11, so I jumped on on the 9th, and I was playing till like 3 a.m. on the 10th. Yeah, it's just every two seconds. I'm throwing a nade, reloading, I'm shot, help me, you know, shit like that is really starting to piss me off. Like, they're so fucking vocal, and they just gotta fucking scream it down my headphones every five fucking seconds. It's really starting to do my fucking head in, if you can't tell. It's really fucking annoying. I just want to sit there, play card, and get the occasional call out. If you look at Black Ops 2, like, you got the occasional one, you know, uh, you get once in a blue moon, that sort of thing. And then now, you just get every five fucking seconds, they gotta tell you exactly what you're doing, even if you're trying to sneak around. They gotta loudly announce and screech down the fucking mic. Oh, I'm reloading! Some shit like that. And it's just, I wanna chill and play some COD. That's essentially it. All I want, I don't want some fucking Nicki Minaj twat screaming down at me saying she's either broke a nail and she's trying to reload or something. I don't care. I just want a classic Milsim operator skins. That's kind of what I want. In fact, I think in future, COD should completely do away with operators and bring in a character creation system. You make your character, maybe you can make multiple characters, you select one of them, you play as them, you get like a male call-out voice or a female call-out voice. Simple as that. It would piss me off way fucking less. And like, you can buy skins still. Like, you can buy, you know how you can like buy camos for your gun, buy the blueprints and stuff like that. Think about like black. Ops 2, you could buy the UK Punk Camino Weaponized 115. You get stuff like that for your character. I feel like in the long run, that's just going to be a much more entertaining and engaging system for people instead of like jumping on buying the fucking Nicki Minaj skin where her ass is practically falling out of her fucking booty shorts. Which, why the fuck, Activision, did you make that so fucking sexual? This is a war zone, not a fucking strip club. But like, if we just had a character customization system, I feel like people will be much more involved with what their character's doing and be much less annoyed by the fucking call out. I know, that's just my opinion anyway. Let me know what you guys think down below of a character creation system. But overall, I think my biggest complaint about Modern Warfare 3, other than skill-based matchmaking, which you may notice I have not mentioned, and that's because I definitely want to talk about that another day. But I think my biggest issue is it just feels like Modern Warfare 2.5. Other than Dead Silence being a perk, which I definitely appreciate, other than, you know, a classic minimap, other than classic, you know, announcements, broadcasts in the lobby of your killstreak progress, it just feels like like Modern Warfare 2. I don't know how to describe it. Mainly that's because this, you know, it was developed as an expansion, despite what Activision said. Many previous developers on the game, and also like, you know, industry insiders and stuff like that, they've all said that this, you know, it's an expansion, and Activision just decided to release it as a full-blown game. So, make with that what you will. I have to give Sledgehammer credit, though. Developing all of this, which is probably the most fun I've had with Call of Duty, since fucking maybe even COD World War 2 to be honest with you. In terms of multiplayer, it's a very good multiplayer other than the skill-based matchmaking is which is really doing my head in. However, there should be an, a video about that even next week or the week after which I'm going to talk about later on. But um, yeah, basically it just feels like Modern Warfare 2. Maybe that's just me knowing that, you know, it's an expansion or it was meant to be an expansion. Maybe that's just me being cynical, but you know, it just feels like it. I cannot escape it no matter where I go. However, it looks better, and if it is Modern Warfare 2, it definitely, like, Modern Warfare 2.75, because it is a vast, vast upgrade over Modern Warfare 2, I have to say that. But anyway, that's all uh, I have for today's video here. If you did enjoy, please do a like and subscribe. Make sure you turn on post notifications so you never miss a single video, or alternatively, you can join the Discord server as a link down below. But anyway, I believe as you're seeing this, it is a Wednesday, so there should be a video out tomorrow, I wanna say. So make sure you guys are on the lookout for that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.